Hey everybody, Merry Christmas, it's Janita, and I just want to give you guys an update on my grandfather. Um, I know it's been a while, I've been busy doing things, but my grandfather is doing just fine. You know, he's a little weak, but he's pulling through. The surgery was a success, and, you know, he's responding well to medication. Only thing is, he's having a bit of trouble swallowing. You know, um, they say his swallow reflexes may be kind of weak. You know, but maybe that's why he's not swallowing like he used to. But, I gotta do is keep the faith in. But he is strong. He's pulling through. He's trying his best though. So, that's a good thing about that. Um, yeah, they're trying to make him move and move and stuff on his own. But I think he's afraid he may fall. But the doctors aren't. Sorry. Sorry about that. Doctors aren't going to let him fall, but like I said, I guess it's that fear. You know, he. I tell you, he's got. He got some kind of ice in him today, he got some pepper in him or something, but because he, he was fighting the nurses for some reason, I don't know why. Maybe he didn't want to be bothered. Who knows? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, yeah, I got some Christmas presents from a few friends of mine. Yeah, this is a uh, lollipop bling and kidding. Check my lollipop. My favorite candy. <laughs> um, the blue one is ribbon. This one is red, mine again. And oh, this one is honey. See. That, huh? So yeah, a few neighbors upstairs. I make hats for them, and you know they give me money. So they figure it's the thought that I do that. They give me something. Even if they didn't give me anything, I would still be grateful. Uh, this one I got from a friend of mine. No, well, it's a. Uh, I don't know if you've seen these, like in Bed Bath and Beyond or Target or whatever, but these are actually vase, uh, not vases, but safes. You can hang them in your closet, you can put your money in it, or your jewelry or whatever have you, and hang it up anywhere. Like, from what I see, you could hang it up in a closet. Me, I'm going to basically put it where I could see it because my closet is a bit full, you know. Make it lost in there. <laughs> so, yeah. I want to show you guys my latest hat. Now, uh, kind of like a flapper like hat, you know. Ah, kind of a flapper hat or whatever have you. Um, this part was supposed to be down, but look. <laughs> Can't see. So, I'll have to put it like this then. So I can see. I had a outfit on the same color, but the reason I didn't want to put it on was that because I wanted my hair to get some part of my scalp to breathe. You know my hair. Um, I was visiting my 
grandfather and go in there and coming back, all hair was being blown in my face. You know, um, it was a mess. <laughs> And what the security person told me, be careful because I have a lot of hair and it was all in front of my face. I couldn't really see. Maybe that's the thing with having long hair. But I like it. Yeah, it's still brown. But soon I may steal, I'm going to steal a little bit of root. You know, um, yeah, this is, happens to be my, hmm, I wouldn't really say it's my signature look, but, you know, it's, uh, kind of a look that makes me look kind of exotic, maybe, you know, kind of foreign, as they say, like Islander. <laughs> I don't know what about, I don't know, but, uh, what do you think? Sometimes I wear it, like, up like a messy bun or straight. Now, either one happens to be my signature look, but all the looks I have are kind of, is a company with a cat eye. So, I think the cat eye and the red lip, I must look, maybe. But for me, it's a, like a berry color. Mm. So, yeah, my grandfather's doing fine. I'm okay now. I just had to let that out the last time. You know, still pulling for him though, but he's gonna make it. Soon he's gonna get out of the hospital and in rehabilitation. You know, and soon he'll be back to himself. He just needs food to kind of build himself up. He thought maybe he could puree his food or. The worst case scenario, he may get a tube in his stomach. I'm hoping that don't happen. Oh, uh, uh, I'm hoping that don't happen. Uh, again, people say that liquid food may be better. I don't know. Because... You know, we gave him a little bit of mashed potatoes. He was gumming it, but he wasn't swallowing it. Don't know what that's about. Uh, I don't know. What are you going to do? <laughs> so, yeah. I guess that's all. Just comment below on what you think of this. And let me know what's my could be my, what do you think is my signature look? Is it the curly, the straight, or messy bun? Because I'm tired of having my hair in a low ponytail. I want to do something a little different. Also, also, I'm trying to try my hand at, you know, I've seen tutorials on this, but sorry about that, my footage. Um, finger waves. I really gotta study it because it looks kind of tricky. But hey, I'm a quick learner, so I might catch on. And I gotta get some decent hairspray because that hairspray I got is cheap. I may need like um. I don't know. What's the what do you think is the best hairspray? You know, I heard Aquanet is one, but it's kind of old. Yeah, and I'm not sure if 
Pantene have any hairspray or whatever. Mm. Anything way as I did them overnight with like gel. Sorry if I keep looking back there. Sorry if I keep looking this way. I keep thinking there's someone in there. Nobody in there but my cat. Oh, I guess it's the noise upstairs making me think there's someone else in the house. Oh. So, please comment on this vlog and let me know what's my signature look with the cat eye and maybe a lip thing. A burgundy or berry lips or nude lips with the cat eye. And um, whether my hair, the signature look should be straight hair, this crinkly hair, or messy bun. And if you can, do some research on the best hairspray, right? Alright, bye guys. Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year to you guys. <laughs> bye.